To make the mosaic rocks, you of course need rocks. You'll also need clear silicone adhesive. And we're gonna use white sanded grout and we're gonna tint it with black acrylic paint. And after we're all done with the mosaic, we have sealer because they're gonna go outside. And of course you need tiles and we've got a variety of tiles and a variety of colors, kind of a rainbow of colors. And they range in size from a quarter inch to a half inch. To mosaic the rock, all we're gonna do is use the silicone to glue tiles all over the rock. And what I'm gonna do is just put a little splooge, just a little drop of glue. You don't need a ton. Don't need a ton. On the back of the tile and then set it onto the rock. And it should set up pretty quickly. Hopefully it won't slide too much. If it starts to slide, you can just hold it in place a little bit as you go. Exactly. And one thing you do wanna notice is the tiles, some of them have a, a front and a back. The back of this one is all ridged and the front is smooth. You want to make sure you're putting the glue on the back, on the rough side. It's made to hold the glue. It gives it a place for the glue to stick to. And another thing you want to keep in mind is that you want your grout lines to be as, as close to uniform as possible. And we're shooting for a grout line of an eighth of an inch. And we're doing an eighth of an inch in between each tile as much as we can. We've got circles, so they're going to be a couple of gaps that are a little bit bigger. Yeah. But, that's but this, this part right in here should be about the depth of this tile. This is an eighth of an inch. so That's a good little test. Yeah. And your grout package will say um, what the grout will span, how much of a grout line it can hold. Exactly. Ready? If it's not made for big gaps, uh, it'll crack, and you don't want that. Uh, but ours is very fine sanded grout, and it's made for small spaces like this one eighth of an inch. This is a fun craft to do at a party, like an outdoor garden party. Oh yeah. You can just set up a whole table with rocks in the center and little cups of all your different mosaic tiles and the glue, and people can just drop in and make a rock, and you can grout it and they can take it home. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bring them all the way down along the edge down here too. But I'm not going to do the underside. I'm going to leave it flat rock That's a good underneath idea. it. Looking good. And you can see that the gaps are about the right size over here. A little bigger around the circle, but that's okay because our grout can actually span up to a half inch. An eighth of an inch to a half inch. And again, just read on your grout package so you know how far apart to space your exactly. tiles. Okay, just have a few more I'll put on these and then we'll wait for the glue to set up so that the tiles aren't moving around and once everything is all set up, we'll be ready to do our grout. Mixing grout is easier than you think. The first thing you want to do is read on your grout package to see what the ratio is of grout to water. Yeah. Ours is seven parts grout to one part water. And we like to start by putting the water in first. We don't need a lot of grout for our project, so we're gonna use a tablespoon, and I'm gonna put one tablespoon of water in. And we're just mixing in a container that we can then throw away. This is just an empty cottage cheese container. And then she's, that was one part water. She's gonna put in seven parts of the powdered grout. And it's very powdery, so be sure to sort of keep your head away from the grout when you put it in your container. You don't want to be right over it. You can wear a mask if you want to. If you need more grout than this, you can just use a bigger measurement, like you can use a quarter cup or a half cup, but still do it seven parts to one if that's what your grout is asking for. And this is seven. Perfect. So then what we're going to do is mix it up and, and start paying attention to what the consistency is because we can always add a little bit more water. Exactly. She's using a putty knife to mix that up. Yeah, you could use the paint stir. Let's see here. Looking pretty dry. Okay, let's add, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of water. Good. It's starting to set up a little bit. So you wanna get it to a texture that's like sort of a runny, Peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Like natural peanut like butter? Like natural peanut butter? Do you want a little bit more? Yeah, I think it needs a little bit more. Looking good. And this grout is white sanded grout. The color will dry a little bit lighter than it looks when it's wet here. 
if this is the color you want, you're good to go. You've got 15 minutes now to go ahead and grab your mosaic. But we want to add some color to ours. Do you think we need more water? No, good? I think we're okay. good. I think it looks really good. This is the this is what we ended up with. That kind of good. Yeah, natural peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it a squirt of our acrylic paint. We want right. kind of a dark charcoal color. And this is just acrylic paint from the craft store. Yeah. It's nice to choose a color that's pretty different from your tiles. You don't want to match your tiles because then you won't be able to see your tiles. It's usually what you want to set the tiles off. The color's yeah. looking good. It is. Is that looking mixed enough? Yeah, yeah. I like that color. Very so boring. once it's all mixed together like that, like we said, you have about 15 minutes, maybe 13 now, to go ahead and grout your mosaic. So now we're ready to grout our rock, and you can see it turned out really pretty there, and we tinted the grout gray, and we're just going to put it right on top of our beautiful tiles, believe it or not. So I've got gloved hands to protect my fingers, and I'm using my gloved hands just to smear that grout in and around all the tiles. And Kitty's gonna make sure that she gets the grout up and around every single tile in every direction. Yeah. So it's important to kind of wipe up and down and around. Yes, I'm going towards it, back, this way, that way. So I'm getting on all sides of each tile. Remember that the grout is what's going to hold all of our beautiful tiles in place. Yes. You can always add a little more grout if you want to do a little bit of, at a time, but you don't have a whole lot of time to work. Yes, you have about 15 minutes yeah. that the grout stays uh, wet and workable. And you can really see the texture of the grout here is like this sort of natural peanut butter you exactly can tell wiping it exactly and when you do the bottom edge you, you want to sort of wipe up the bottom edge yes. so that you're sure um, like to get up under it yes so that you're sure those bottom tiles get held in place too more. there you go perfect yes and we didn't put tiles on the bottom we decided that the rocks would sit nicely yeah. if, they're, if it's just flat but, and also, you kind of don't want to waste that many um, yes, beautiful well, tiles pretty on the bottom underneath. of the rock. But I do want to make sure that the grout is going down kind of to the base underneath the rock. And we only mixed up enough grout to do one rock at a time. Um, you can, if you've got people working with you, you know, a couple people at the same time, you can mix up more grout just by multiplying your grout amounts. Yes. Um, and, but you do have to keep that time limit in mind because it does start to set up. I think it's easier to do them one at a time. Yeah. It's not hard to mix it up. No, take your time. You can use a smaller container. Yeah. It's easier to control the mixture, too. You're yes. able to get it completely blended easier. Exactly. That's so, looking great. It's looking good. I'm kind of double checking as I go and feeling with my fingers to make sure that I'm in all those corners. I could use a little bit up under here. Good. I don't want any sharp edges showing. That's right. And now I'm going to kind of wipe off any excess. I want to make sure I'm not removing it from between the tiles. That's important. We need it between the tiles. But you do want to remove a little bit of it from on top of the tiles to make the buffing process easier. And to help me kind of clear the tiles off a little bit, I have a sponge here. And I'm just going to moisten the sponge in our little cup of water. You don't need a lot of water. It's just, it's just, just barely damp. Yeah. And then I'm just going to wipe the surface. Not completely clean. It doesn't matter that there's a little bit of uh, the grout on top of the tiles. No, we're going to buff that haze off we're buff once that it dries. Off. But I'm just going to go all the way around at one time. I'm really just clearing the excess off the tops of the tiles. That's right. And we're working on a piece of cardboard just because we're, we're working inside in our studio. But if you did this outside, you could do it on a tarp or something like yes. that. It is a little bit messy, so... You do want to protect your work surface wherever you decide to do your mosaic. So that looks pretty good. It's great. It's pretty cleared off. I have a couple over here on this side. And so I'm just going to keep wiping a little bit. And when I'm done, we're going to set a timer. Yep. We're going to let this sit and cure or dry, set up for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to come back and we'll show you how to remove the haze off of your tile. We waited 30 minutes for our grout to set up, and you can see that a haze has formed on our tiles, but that's okay, we're gonna show you how to buff that off. I've got a damp paper towel, and all you have to do is just buff that haze right off the tops of your tiles, comes right off, and if you have some tiles that are kind of covered up 
with grout, you can also kind of dig that out a little bit. You just want to be careful not to dig out all of the grout that's between your tiles because that's what's holding them in place. Exactly. So I'm just going to continue to work around this. It's looking really pretty. And uncover all the tiles. And then we'll wait 24 hours and we'll be ready to seal it. We waited 24 hours for our grout to set up and the rocks just look so beautiful. Gorgeous. We're so excited. And now we're ready to seal the mosaic. So to do that, we have our mosaic seal here. I'm just going to give it a good shake and pour a little bit out. You don't need a lot. It's very thin and runny. So just pour a little bit in the bowl. Perfect. And now we're going to seal the rock in our mosaic by just getting some of the um, sealer on a foam paintbrush. And then we just paint right over everything. We go over the grout and over the tiles. It's going to dry clear, so it doesn't matter if it gets on your tiles. That's great. So we're just going to finish sealing this. We'll let it dry, and then our beautiful rocks will be ready to go outside in the garden.